This is my flower garden at Oak Hill Cottage Garden in south of Sweden. My name is Sarah and I grow this garden and my home garden a couple of kilometers away from here. This time of the day, it's actually evening, it's just wonderful, it's very peaceful and calm. We expect some rain tonight and it's very needed but uh, the flowers look really beautiful. I have picked a lot of them already to deliver to a florist in town. But uh, today I am going to try out a thing that I have not done with my flowers before. So the thing is that next week, in a week and a half, my dear friend Erika is going to get married. A wedding is ahead of us and I just love the idea to celebrate well, you know, this thing after COVID and everything uh, with a nice wedding. A small wedding, but a wedding though with a friend that I really love. So I'm so excited about this. And she asked me a while ago to help her with flowers. And of course I said yes. <laughs> I don't regret it, but I am a bit, you know, nervous about how it will turn out. So I thought today I would like to practice and uh, prepare myself a bit. Um, I suggested to, for her to do, you know, this mason jar flower arrangement. Um, it's not very common in Sweden and you don't see it that often. So I have only seen a few videos on YouTube and thought that, well, I will give it a try to tonight and see if I like it and if it's something that I can find useful for the wedding. If it does, I want to make like 20 of them next week uh, to put on tables, etc. So I have picked some flowers from the garden um, and a lot of foliage. I have seen many videos on YouTube and uh, they recommend you use a lot of foliage. So I have prepared a few things. Um, my plan is simply to get started and we will see how it turns out. I will try to give you a few comments <laughs> on the way, but um, this is completely new to me. So let's just get started and see how it turns out, shall we? A few dahlias, like the straw flowers, lovely color. Got some tobacco, lime, Blocks. Some snapdragons. Only one actually. <laughs> I've got plenty, plenty of snapdragons in my garden this year. Look at the color. I love pink colors. Um, small amaranth. Don't remember the name of this, unfortunately. The dahlias have not yet started to produce that much in my garden. A rudbeckia. Beautiful. Aurac, a red one. This is one of my favorites in the garden right now. And then one single rose and just the green things. And I'm going to start now by stripping up the leaves.
So I have the flowers, I have a lovely evening, I have a comfortable place to sit and work. And I brought with me this um, jar. It's made from glass and this is a typical jar for honey in Sweden. You buy honey in these types of jars. I filled it with water and I, um, I, I want to cover it with um, a craft paper to make it look a bit more pretty. And I figured out that if I do this when, when the, the jar is filled with flowers, it might be a bit tricky. So I think I'm going to start with that. Don't know if that's the best way to do it, but I'll give it a try. Right, let's begin then <laughs> with the foliage. So I'm just going to fill this up with all the foliage that I have as a base. So I measure this so that it will fit in. So I'm going to add now the most special one <laughs> of the flowers. This is Rudbeckia. It's absolutely amazing. I love Rudbeckia. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, succeed that well with my flowers. The Rudbeckia this year. Now I'm just going to add whatever I can fit in here. I think I managed to fit in exactly every flower that I brought with me, every single one. <laughs> and I, I really love this uh, lovely mix of uh, my flowers. Next time I will try to use the foliage so that it will mix with the flowers a bit better. Now it's like a, like a skirt down here, but that's okay too. I mean, it covers the, the jar. In this way, I think we can fix flowers for every spot in the barn where the marriage is going to happen. And I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful and I'm so much looking forward to, I think it's um, Thursday evening when I'm going to put them together. If I get the feeling, I might invite you to join me in some way. I have to put this in a nice spot now to, to take some photos. Let me know what you think about this and if you have any advice on how I could make it even better the next time, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching and have a really nice day in your garden. Mm -hmm.